Out of 77,908,000 families in the U.S., 1,969,000 make $250,000 or above, and three times as many earn less than $15,000 per year. What is the probability that a randomly selected family does not make $250,000 or more per year? All right, so I've underlined some key phrases in the problem. The first one, of course, is this word probability. It tells me that I'm working a probability problem. The next kind of subtle one is this idea that they're taking a randomly selected family, just one family. If they're only selecting one family, it's just one event, the event of choosing a family, right, among the 77,908,000 families in the U.S. If it's just one simple event, it's very possible that we can solve the problem just with one fraction using basic probability. And when I read further, it says the probability that a randomly selected family does not make $250,000 or more per year. There's no other key phrases present that would indicate I would do anything other than just a basic probability problem with one fraction to solve it, right? So what I have to do is find this, and that's what we're looking for. So let's start out with that simple approach. I'll be looking for the probability that a family does not make $250,000 or more per year. So let me use a shorthand for this problem just to make our lives easier. 250K plus, I'll put. That little plus is indicate or more, right? Does not make $250,000 or more per year. So I'll put a little plus sign there. This would be the probability that a family makes that. If I want to say does not make that, I'll put a bar above it. And this is the same thing as saying the family does not make $250,000 per year. It's actually a handy notation, which we'll see later, but for now, let's just work from this. So again, this translates in words to the probability that a family, right, does not make 250K plus per year, right? That's basically what it means in words. All right, we're going to use that then as our shortcut or shorthand. All right, so basic probability is basically expressed as a fraction. And on the top of the fraction, we always start out with this phrase, number of. In this case, it'll be number of what? Number of families that do not make $250,000 or more per year. Number of families that do not earn Two hundred fifty thousand or more per year. Okay, so that's the top of the fraction. That's what should go up there. And on the bottom, it's always what the total. In this case, total number of families. Okay, this approach will solve the problem. That's what we need. Now, at this moment, we'll draw a fraction bar and we'll say, okay, can we figure out the number of families that do not earn two hundred fifty thousand dollars per year? Well, let's see. When I read the problem, I have a couple of numbers here. I have this number, 77,908,000 families in the U.S. That's the total number of families. In fact, I can put that at the bottom, 77,908,000, right? Okay, so I put it at the bottom. That's the total number of families. But then I'm told that 1,969,000 of them make $250,000 or more per year. Well, that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the other group, right, the people who don't make that amount of money. They go on to tell us three times as many earn less than $15,000 per year. This is an interesting number here, interesting statistic, right? That three times as many families earn less than $15,000 per year. But interesting as it may be, it doesn't actually help us solve the problem because it isn't the total number of families that do not earn $250,000 a year. It is true that this roughly, say, 6 million families that earn less than $15,000 per year in the U.S., um, are part of this group, but they're not the entire group. So that number by itself is not very helpful. So we just have to ignore it, actually. So we have to work from this number, I suppose. If this is the amount that made $250,000 or more per year, couldn't I subtract that amount from the total to be left with the families that don't make it? I think that would work, right? So we're going to do 77,908,000 minus 1,969,000. And that should give us all the families that do not make $250,000 or more per year. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in my calculator, 77,908,000 minus 1,969,000. When I do that, I end up with the result, 75,939,000, okay? And then from there, I will divide that by 77,908,000. Let's see what we get. We do that. 
we end up with approximately 0 0.975.